Yeah, it's so humid. The vlog is like fogging up. This is disgusting. Anyway, we're going to the gym. You see me in a long sleeve, mind your business. <laughs> it's hot as heck too. What's good guys? We're back at the gym. This time we're doing a dumbbell only lower body workout. So grab a pair of dumbbells that are great comfortable weight for you and we're gonna start off with some split squats i had so much fun during this session and tell me why it's three days later and i'm still sore so i like to use this box to elevate my legs and go deep into these split squats so i decided to do low weight high rep for this session so i probably did about five different sets 10 to 12 reps so now I'm moving into walking lunges I love these some days I'm not gonna lie I don't enjoy doing them because the gym can be kind of crowded and I just don't like people looking at me so I prefer to stay in one area of the gym but if you have this space ooh, start doing these because they are killer so I really felt this uh, the next day and I actually enjoyed them a lot. So I'm gonna start incorporating these back into my leg days. Now we're gonna grab that same box and we're gonna do some dumbbell step ups. You could definitely do a preloaded barbell with this if you have trouble with balance, but I decided to show you guys with dumbbells in case this is what you have access to if you wanna do this at home, for example. But I love me some step ups. I've definitely seen so much growth over time since i've started to incorporate this into my routine and they're also really fun to do if you are tired of doing just stationary machines or you're tired of doing squats let me tell you there are so many other workouts other than squats that will grow your lower body especially your glutes so for this last workout i decided to do some side kicks with a dumbbell and if you have a band honestly i'd recommend adding that as well for more resistance but for some reason i didn't use that today but that was my workout for today i hope you guys enjoyed coming to the gym with me uh you know we got the good music and the bangers on deck but i was sweating i was sweating bricks okay Ooh, the pain of leaving the gym after leg day that was intense i'm not even gonna hold you guys Ooh. Today was a struggle trying to record, but your girl sucked it up and got it done. I just hate people staring, and I got that today. But I was like, do it for the content. You're gonna be so happy when you get the angles. Most of my clips were blurry the house, <laughs> as Rich Lux would say. The um, footage was like cropped out you can't really see my whole body but i'm gonna pray and hope that we can make a reels out of that and then i also recorded some of my sets on the vlog for you guys so hopefully you guys are enjoying these like mini tutorial style workouts where i kind of walk you through my sessions i don't know let me know in the comments but i'm gonna go to the grocery store right now it looks like it's about to storm and i'm going to go ahead and cook myself some dinner and i really want chipotle um, but it's like too hot to leave food in the car from the market, you know, so it's just like I need to pick one or the other, uh, but I also just need to get food and like some micronutrients. I'm really craving like my green smoothies, so I want to get some um, orange juice for that and some more coffees for the morning, the basics, but I <laughs> kicked my own butt today. I really like dumbbell workouts lately. For one of my leg days and it's nice to switch it up from just using machines my gym is so annoying they added so many more new cardio machines nobody uses the ellipticals there's like 12 ellipticals y'all probably saw and they added two more I'm like <sighs> then they moved the standing ab machine right in front of the mirror where I use my the box that you guys saw 
it was blocking the whole mirror so what did I do I used my strength and I pushed it out the way <laughs> it wasn't that heavy but I'm like it's literally in the middle of the gym turned the wrong way it was just a mess I actually sent a video to my little friend I said what's going on here and I said update I moved it <laughs> so they did that then they added two more treadmills and I guess they got rid of the row machine I just don't understand like we need more weights in this gym like can we get a hip abduction machine or something can we get a hip thrust machine you know like and then we have all these cycling bikes and you're not allowed to bring weights in the studio room so nobody ever uses that unless they're doing um, karate classes like random things you guys I don't understand I'm gonna make a note because there's this suggestion box if you have any notes put it in the box oh I got a lot I got a lot like we have these free barbells like we have the Smith machine right and then we have the barbells but there's no rack for the barbells so if you wanted to do like squats you can't you can really only do like not even really hip thrust with it because there's no space it's all the ellipticals taking up all the floor room and like I said you can't bring it in the studio so it just doesn't make sense to me <sighs> we have a talk <laughs> that's my little bit of a gym rant was a mission but that will be the last time that I go to the grocery store starving I got so many snacks yeah I got some avocado rolls I'll give you guys a little haul when I get home just the sound of the can for me I am about to head out to the gym and you know what as I was getting ready I thought to myself I sure can't live without these things these are my essentials the fit girl starter pack if you will I tried to narrow it down to about 10 things like top 10 things I cannot live without as a fit girl a normal girl that is a fit girl um, but I wanted to include shoes as well so that's where we kind of went over so cheers we're about to have an amazing workout today. I'm actually sipping on my Oxy Shred Ultra Energy in the peach candy rings. This top one, you guys, is my favorite thing right now. Something about the convenience of this, something about grabbing it out of the fridge, not having to mix up anything, not having a bunch of tubs everywhere, cracking it open, hearing that like pop sound. It's giving everything for summer, so I've been loving my Oxy Shred, and I'm actually about to order a couple more cases on EHP Labs K10. Links below. A good water bottle. You are not a fit girl if you don't have a water bottle, baby. So it's really hard to find a quality water bottle. I feel like everyone's needs are different. For me, it needs to be big enough where I'm not having to fill it up five six seven eight nine twenty times a day because that is so irritating not only that but it's hard to keep track of how much water i've consumed in the day so the bigger the better this one has a handle which makes it really easy to carry around with me it also has a straw i realized i need a water bottle with a straw i drink more water that way and it's a lot easier with something this big 
then having to tip it over i feel like it goes everywhere when i'm in the gym it's like literally a mess so this one is super cute i believe it's about 64 ounces or so two of these is about a gallon and because it's stainless steel if you put ice in it it'll stay cold all day sometimes i wake up in the morning there's still ice from yesterday so i love this for the hotter seasons keeps my water nice and cold whenever i'm out and about or whenever it's just in my gym bag and it's like this matte color with some i'm not crazy about the design okay but maybe it had a straw and a handle i said throw it in the bag i got it from target so i'll put the link for it in the description box for you girls the next thing is like a fashion accessory if you can see in my bun i love a good scrunchie for my curly girls like i don't know like Protective styles are amazing for the gym. I like to throw mine up in a bun and I have a ton of scrunchies I try to match them with my gym fits and I pretty much have a color for every Pair of leggings or whatever. So today we're doing browns So that's what I have going on today like these would have been really cute with my fit today as well But I love a good hair accessory. It's really hard to dress up or jazz up or make a gym fit girly or fit your personality so for me hair accessories are really great claw clips are also something that I love to rock in the gym just to keep my hair up and out of the way so whenever I'm touching barbells or I'm on benches and stuff my hair is not touching or grazing against that as much as possible hand sanitizer we know gyms are gross sometimes we don't want to run back and forth to the restroom or something to wash our hands I know I'm always in the bathroom because I drink so much water, I have to pee in between workouts, but also sanitizing machines and sanitizing my hands afterwards. These are great. This is the Touchland sanitizer. I think this is the watermelon one, but look at how cool that is. Baby, it comes out in a mist and it's not sticky. It's very moisturizing, so I don't feel like it's drying on my hands like a lot of hand sanitizers that have all that alcohol. Then I look ashy. This this stuff right here is worth the nine dollars so i'll link these below as well they have a bunch of different scents i really like the cucumber and then the watermelon those are like the two that i really gravitate towards the most and i've tried several of them so get you some hand sanitizer and stay safe in these streets you girls and then also i want to mention for headphones and stuff sometimes you guys will ask me do you prefer working out with your airpods or do you prefer beats or like an over the ear type of headphone style i'm gonna be honest and say that i'm obsessed with over the ear headphones because i just feel like the airpods pop out of my ears a little bit too much and then i have to keep pushing them back in my ears i'm sweating you know i don't i don't need that negativity in my life and something about these the convenience of just being able to pull it behind my ear if someone's trying to talk to me or something or if i'm walking outside you want to be alert in your surroundings i don't have to worry about misplacing an airpod or falling in the toilet when i'm trying to use the bathroom so i prefer these these are noise canceling these are the studio threes they were 170 dollars on amazon free shipping baby why do they retail for 300 dollars at like best buy i said amazon take my coins so i recently got these and i'm obsessed with them these are just the matte black i feel like they would go with a lot of my gym fits and the ear cup is big enough so my ear fits inside of this part meaning my cartilage isn't gonna hurt after two hours of wearing this in the gym like my smaller beats were so love these and even just having them off I can feel like there's like no sound like the noise cancellation incredible the bass on this stuff amazing and they are wireless and the battery charges super quick so highly recommend getting a pair of those if you guys are in need of a good headphone for your gym sessions nothing is worse than going to the gym and forgetting a headphone and having to listen to gym music <laughs> baby I will just go back home <laughs> uh yeah I'm going back home because I we're not about to do all that an apple watch so I recently upgraded as you guys know to the series 7 coming from the series 1 so it has been just so blessed to have this it just feels a lot sleeker and the face that I have is the larger size I took the band from my series 1 and put it on here because I like the color it's just a pale pink and it's just amazing to be able to track your workouts day to day as well as your sessions being able to know what your heart rate is looking like being able to know how long you're in the gym for you can pause your sessions if you're taking longer breaks so that you don't run the calories because it tracks your burned calories you can literally track 
a walk inside, a walk outside. You can do your own custom workouts. You can track like so many things. And I like having a timer on my wrist if I need one. It's just so handy for the everyday girl and it's super user friendly as well. I don't really use it for anything other than the gym. It also tracks your steps a lot more accurate than if you were to track it with your phone because you know your phone can track your steps but having something on your wrist is just so much better now these other favorites are like more so like hygiene wise deodorant is super key i think there's so many different deodorants on the market everyone's body chemistry is different so scents might be different for every girl but i have always been a fan of the degree spray style deodorants it says 72 hour I'm not gonna say hold, but 72 hour protection. But maybe you should be taking a shower before then. That's disgusting. Um, but I feel so fresh after a very sweaty session, especially with the heat of the summer these days. But the Sexy Intrigue is by far my personal fave. I've been using this since middle school, high school. The Sexy Intrigue is my personal favorite scent. I'm so picky with fragrances. I don't want to smell like deodorant. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to look like I have deodorant on, like the cottage cheese clusters that the sticks will give you, the transfer on your clothing or on your sports bra. It just looks very messy and it looks very unhygienic. So with these spray deodorants, you cannot even tell that it's there. It smells like a perfume, not a deodorant, and it's convenient. So you can just put this in your gym bag if you want I keep mine at home boom boom spray it on and you're good to go so I highly recommend checking these out I buy mine on Amazon for like a pack of six for like 20 bucks which is so cheap because you're just always gonna need deodorant and when I say this is the best this is the freaking best baby and ladies I feel like I've talked about this before if you have leggings that have maybe a front seam god forbid you're still wearing leggings with a front seam or you have leggings that are on the thinner side like alpha lee amplify or maybe you're even on your peri it happens maybe you're worried about ct get some panty liners not any panty liners you have to get these these are the kotex kodex kotex brand and they're the <laughs> You can't just get any brand. You have to get these because every liner is not built the same. These ones are like super thin. You can't see them. You can't even feel them. And these are... Sit down. They are like paper thin. I'm not going to open it and waste it because... Baby, I need these every day. <laughs> But they have a thong style and they have the regular style that looks like this. I prefer this style because you can just kind of wrap it like a wing underneath your panty. The thong style has the wings, but I find they're not as sturdy as these. They feel the exact same in my opinion. Uh, but these really do take care of the CT problem. And if you're insecure about your leggings being just too thin i don't know and just riding up in crevices like i said where i feel like they just should not so now i'm going to move on to like my shoe favorites i don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail but whenever i go to the gym i always pull up in slides so these slides right here these are giving very much so yeezy on a budget i call these my feezies my fake yeezy <laughs> I love them. They come in so many different colors. I have them in black as well. I will say they are a pain to break in. I have pretty wide feet. So this is a little tight in this area, but they are so squishy and like walking on a cloud. They're amazing. They just look so cute with your gym outfits, you guys. I don't recommend wearing your gym shoes outside in public, walking around after the gym or before you're going to the gym because you're going to ruin them. They're not going to look as clean or fresh. At least for me, I like to preserve them and make them last and look fresh for content whenever I'm taking photos and stuff. And gym shoes, like you're wearing them a lot. They go through a lot in the gym. So why put them through wear and tear outside if you can avoid it? So that's why I like to wear slides and then I'll just change in the locker room into my gym shoes so two favorites that I have that I really just only ever wear because I'm doing legs like baby every day be leg day okay so we need a flat shoe so I like the blazers from Nike they're a really nice sturdy shoe like 
this whole area it's kind of hard to bend if you're doing something like a split squat or maybe even a lunge it can be a little bit hard but if i'm squatting it's so stable it's insane they look amazing i do wish i had the all white pair because this gray panel i'm not a fan of doesn't go with all my gym fits but it is a really cool shoe that you'll see a lot of girls and guys rock in the gym and i see why they're so great i didn't find that i had to break these in at all and they still look so nice because again i don't wear them outside i just wear them for the gym so if you have the money to do it have a pair of shoes just for the gym and it'll make them last so much longer these are my other faves i always 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 reach for my converse i have like three pairs and i want more because i just feel like they they just look so good when they're fresh so these are the all whites they're starting to get a little beat up which i honestly don't know how these look great with every outfit so if you can get a shoe that matches every outfit you're good to go and again these are great for leg day they're super flat i'll wear these for cardio on the stairmaster also if i'm doing walking on the treadmill but everyone's feet is going to be different i have super flat feet so anything with an arch is so painful for me so i love these they're so comfy they're such a classic and again a lot of people you'll see in the gym have converse especially for a good leg day these are a lot more flexible than the blazers like if ever i'm doing split squats they kind of move with my foot because it's all canvas right it's not like this structured leather so i think they're both great options and i'll rotate between the two styles and again i have multiple colors in the converse it's just fun to kind of dress up and jazz up a basic gym outfit so those are pretty much all of my basics what is that one thing that you cannot live without being a fit girl i just need to know put me on put all of us on let us know in the comments thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye